टुडे आई विल डिस्कस चैप्टर नंबर 301 फ्रॉम हैरिसन एक्यूट रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस सिंड्रोम सो वी विल डिस्कस दिस चैप्टर इन वन ऑफ द इजीएस्ट वे सो आई विल फॉलो रूल ऑफ 3 फॉर एवरीथिंग व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन नाउ फर्स्टली वी विल सी व्हाट इज एआरडीएस सो हियर रूल ऑफ 3 इन द सेंस देयर शुड बी एक्यूट ऑनसेट ऑफ सिम्टम्स मेनली डिस्निया देन देयर शुड बी रिकॉर्डेड हाइपोक्सेमिया देयर शुड बी न्यू ऑनसेट पल्मोनरी इनफिल्ट्रेट्स सो दिस इज द मेजर डेफिनेशन देन वी नो दैट वी विल ग्रेड this ARDS into again three things mild moderate and severe based on EaO2 by FiO2 ratio mainly using berlin's criteria that you might be knowing now three main etiologies of ARDS are one is pneumonia then sepsis third one is gastric related mainly either aspiration or pancreatitis now we will see three commonest differential diagnoses of ARDS most common is cardiogenic pulmonary edema then bilateral pneumonias third one is alveolar hemorrhage so if we consider first one that is cardiogenic pulmonary edema we can differentiate using chest imaging mainly in cardiogenic pulmonary edema we will be able to see cardiomegaly pleural effusions and redistribution of pulmonary vasculature so again three points in favor of cardiogenic pulmonary edema now stages of ARDS are again three exudative stage proliferative stage and fibrotic stage in exudative stage alveoli will be filled with exudate that is leaked plasma then in proliferative stage to be a fight from body to replace this injury by proliferation of epithelial cells proliferation of cells which will produce surfactants and replacement of neutrophils by lymphocytes this is proliferative phase finally there will be fibrotic stage so in majority of the patients this phase will lead to recovery over 3 to 4 weeks but few might undergo extensive fibrosis requiring long term oxygen support when it comes to treatment again we will follow the rule of 